This is a bit of a weird video. I've been banned from going to the Commonwealth Games. So this week actually started out very positive. It started out with the selection of the Commonwealth Games. There's three gymnasts going. Myself, Ewan McAteer and Eamon Montgomery. So on this Monday, we were doing all of our media stuff for the announcement of the Gymnastics Commonwealth Games team for Northern Ireland. It is always such a proud moment to be selected for a competition and get the opportunity to represent your country at such a high level. So this set me up for a really positive mindset going into this week's training. So I found a new way to store my food in the gym. We don't have a fridge. So this ice machine will have to do. Back for another week of training in Dublin. This is my first session back after the national championship. So we're gonna take it quite slow in some areas of training, but then also blast some good conditioning this week as well. I'm wanting to get all six of the apparatus touched on each session uh, this week, so it'll be quite fun for you guys to see me train other apparatus. Just basic stuff, but still fun nonetheless. keeping in mind the back pain that I still have on the floor I'm going to keep it really basic this week and see if that back pain fixes itself and the inf inflammation goes down a little bit more in the meantime the basic things I will be doing on the floor is landing positions because I feel like my legs can be doing a lot more work and engaging more to take off the weight that's going on to my back on these landings I saw the current Olympic champion on floor, Artem Dolgopiat, doing this prep on the fast track and it was essentially just one hop into a double pike somersault. Now I think I could use that for my double tuck somersaults as well, but I'll try a double pike and see if it'll work. If, if I can't get past the double tuck though, we'll just remain with double tuck. scary coming back to skills that I haven't done in a while especially ones like on p-bars where I could potentially like miss my hands and fall through the p-bars so just needs a little bit of work now working through this really positive week of training my coach came in on a Thursday morning and told me that there's some harsh truths to be told right now Luke said to me that 
there was the decision that was made by the International Gymnastics Federation that they would not allow Northern Irish gymnasts to compete at the Commonwealth Games. This came as a real shock. It came as a shock because I'm the Commonwealth Games champion. I represented Northern Ireland at the Commonwealth Games four years ago and now this time they're telling me that I'm not allowed to compete. Nothing has changed on my part since then, um, but the Gymnastics Federation have, have clearly changed their mind. It's a unique situation coming from Northern Ireland and I can see their misunderstanding of the situation. Based on the Belfast Agreement, which is a peace treaty warranted by a referendum from the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland to get this peace treaty underway, it states for sports people that you can represent Great Britain, Ireland, or both. The or both part is very important here. That is something that doesn't fall in line with the Gymnastics Federation's policies. Because I represent Ireland and my Gymnastics Federation license is Irish, they see it as switching nationalities to Great Britain because Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. Now honestly, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I wanted to let you guys know what was going on, what the situation is, and give you a better understanding of what's happening. So I, of course, express my disapproval of this decision. I just hope that the FIG, the International Gymnastics Federation, come to the right decision, overturn their previous decision, and allow us Northern Irish gymnasts to compete for Northern Ireland. It's been a challenging couple of weeks for sure, but we are continuing to train super hard. We're continuing to push these boundaries. I want to be the best in the world. I want to get that opportunity to retain my title. If the time comes, I'll be ready. I hope you've enjoyed this video or at least got some knowledge about the situation, about what's happening. Make sure you stay positive, keep smiling, and I'll catch you in the next video.